Hello and welcome to something a little bit different, not something I've done before. And it's a first play, in other words. I've purchased something, I've never played it before, so it's going to be a bit of a fact-finding mission for everyone, including myself. So, what have I bought? If you saw my last sort of little quick tip on uh, battery save, you would have noticed I bought Mosaic Keys and Mosaic Voices. So, what do these sound like? Well, let's let's start. Let's go to Mosaic Keys, drag and drop it in. And there we go, Mosaic Keys. So, nice big interface. Uh, I've got to contact stretch to maximum will go. Always puzzle me this, why you can't make it any bigger than the bounds it allows you. Because you can resize it to this and that, but you can't get any bigger than that, which this day and age, uh, scalable interfaces are really strange concept but anyway let digress mosaic keys so first patch mellow fuzzy logic uh typical um heaviosity layout there with uh, your keys shaded the ones that actually play the notes Ah, mod wheels are mapped to space there. That sounds quite nice. What have we got? So, so channel one. Yeah, so you can select your synth source. How many have we got here? We've got 32 and that one. We've got... Oh no. Uh, 100 to choose from in there. That's uh, quite a lot. Um... 119 attack sounds, tonal drones, got 17. So you've got three channels, and each one can actually be loaded into. Um, so you get one per channel. And... Well, that's interesting. Got not a preview. So you can set it to auto, so when you click on it, it'll. So this is going to be quite interesting to when you come to make your own, but we'll uh, we'll carry on going through presets. What have, what have we got on the presets? How do things? Got all those playables. We have got rhythms. We've got arpeggiators. God, we're all suckers for arpeggiators. God, you got to admit it. Everybody likes an arpeggiating sound. Uh, that's interesting. It's. Uh, there's some modulation going on there as you can see the little you can see the little blip moving backwards and forwards so some modulation has been programmed in so we've got modulation on the envelope and filter there bit of gate and some reverb so that's, that's quite nice oh, filtering pull Filtering plinks, I thought I said plucks. Wow, some mad modulation going on there. You can see it already. This is uh, going backwards and forwards. Now, let's bring up the modulation a bit more when the mod wheel. So that cancels out the rapid modulation going on and keeps it quite static. So you back off the modulation and it brings... Brings more of the automation in. You can see this. Uh, if you look down here, you can see there's a quite a bit of panning going on as well. Automated panning. So if you're listening on headphones or good speakers, you should be able to hear it. So I'll shut up for a minute so you can hear it. we go um, what's, what else have we got so that's the some our oh, page eight is we'll have a look at rhythms I'm just looking at these at random ah, I, I see what these are there's a subtle rhythm mixed with the synth keys
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, let's try another one. Dancing waves. There's a lot of panning going on that one. Uh, what else have we got on rhythms? Chariots of smoke. That's definitely using the gate, you can tell without even looking at the regulation, there's a lot of gating going on that one. So um, the sensor uh, bit where it says keys, the big blob that's moving, that's that's me doing that on the uh, pedal mod that's linked to the mod wheel. And what it does. It sort of freezes the modulation at that point. So that's okay. Uh, what else have we got? Let's go to some playables again. Um, of NUE. Let's have a listen. Harpsichordy feel to this. And what else have we got? So that's that's the basics on there. Uh, let's have a quick look at gritty. So these are I would expect to have a bit of dirt and edge to them. Uh, brush fire. Mm. Not pressing anything there. <laughs> Still got sound. Ooh, now oh, that's gritty. Beautiful, cinematic sounds. So that's the um, gritty are, yeah, they are in exactly the same. So you got rhythms, arpeggiators. So um, let's go for kitty. I ain't for iron forest, but miss it. That's why I quickly corrected myself and said kitty. <laughs> yeah, I can see some. Ideas already coming into my head. I could use this this library to good effect. Um, what have we got on here? We got a control. Uh, what they do? That's looking like envelopes. Uh, change the attack, decay, sustain, release of each one. Oh, start. Oh, it starts the. Uh, that's will start the beginning of the sample. So you can change the start of where the sample begins. So uh, if I just solo this channel see the difference it's probably not as noticeable that one might need a noisy tape key So when the sample triggers, that's what that start does. Uh, around a randomness, the width, yeah, that's self-explanatory. If you hold control on the PC, I would think it'll be command on the Mac then, and double click on any of these, it brings it back to its uh, default position. So that's, uh, so if you've sort of find yourself too far removed from where you want it to be you can always hit the panic button control or command click and it'll go back to the zero uh, what else have we got in here options the options we've already been there that allows you to change the sound in each channel also you also can change your key mapping as well so you could 
only have uh, so channel one, channel three, bring them on, and then if I change channel one, that's oh, linking them. I don't want to link them. So if I un click on those, I can have channel one only play up to that. Okay, and channel two to play only from there. So what will happen there? So in the bottom half, handily. These little white dots are telling me what keys I'm pressing as well. So if I go into this side, I lose the grittiness of channel 1. And if I go to the top end, I bring in the grittiness of channel 3 and I combine that with channel 2. So what I can do then is play a bass C. C minor chord in the right hand, and I kind of have grittiness of channel 1, but no channel 2 in the left hand, but channel 2 and channel 3 in the right hand. So that's, that's a nice little feature. Uh, what else have we got? So there it does that. Arpeggiator. Yeah, the normal style for anybody who's used Heaviosity products before. Uh, you can program your um, arpeggiator into there, so you got up, down, repeat, random, Add a bit of swing, you can change how many octaves it'll uh, spread over. Uh, what's these? Chords. More noticeable if I do this. Yeah, not quite the right sound, so you try that on Adrian. We need something with a tone. Alright, so that plays a chord, the chord. So if I take these off. So that'll play an arpeggio. So I'm holding the C minor chord down here, C, E flat, G, C. But if I select these, it'll actually play the C minor chord as a chord. But the bits I haven't selected, it'll play as a, an arpeggiation. So that's a handy little feature. Uh, macro sequences are, this is where you can program your modulation sequence as you can see the EQ is moving in tandem with with this and the master effects there's the good old punish that adds a bit more distortion so what we've got reverb we've got quite a number of reverbs to choose from so that's that's going to be handy to do master EQ so you can Shape a bit more delay. That's handy. So that's a nice delay on there. So that's uh, mosaic keys. Looks as though there could be some uh, some new tracks coming your way. Uh, just looking at the bottom of here, and you know how I've mapped these keys here on here. Uh, let's bring them all back on. There we go. You can see the sh subtle shading down on the keyboard here, so you can see the range at a glance. You don't have to be on this page. You can see that that's going to be channel one. That's channel two, channel three. Um, should, can you not change the colours? No, you can't change the colours, which is a shame, because that blue there is a bit too close to the turquoise for my liking. But apart from that, that's, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with the Mosaic Keys. So there we go. Quick walkthrough of uh, first look at Mosaic Keys. Um, you can guarantee 100% this will be in a lot more map compositions going forward which will be posted on YouTube. If you like this little first look, first playthrough, uh, something I've never done before, give it a like, ding the bell, and you'll get to know when the Mosaic Voices comes up. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, your support does mean everything to me.
you hear a lot of creators say that, but trust me, it does mean a lot. It means that we're actually helping people and people like what we do. So the more subscribers we get, the more we know people are enjoying what they're viewing. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover, uh, contact, Omnisphere, music, life in general, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. So until then, thank you very much and catch you next time.